women, this, these groups, the, the, the women, the youth and people with disability. Yeah. For me, for my first 100 days, I'll say it's first about the policy. You know, we need to do something sustainable so that when I'm not there, when Millicent will not be there with a policy which is engraved in our law, then that thing is sustainable. Well, so many women have uh, tossed themselves uh, into the ring. Uh, that is uh, politics and uh, with the nomination craze uh, currently and the kind of violence and drama that we have witnessed. Uh, we would really love to know what women really think about all this. Joining me in studio now is Jacqueline Mutinde. She's a Jubilee aspirant uh, for Mavoko constituency. Thank you very much for joining us in studio, mm -hmm. Jacqueline. Um, I will start with the nominations. A uh, number of women we've spoken to say they're very worried about how things are being conducted given the, what we have been seeing in the media, the disappearance, the violence, the drama, the shouting matches. Does this worry you as a woman aspirant? Okay, for instance, when we get into politics, actually we know what we are going to find there. Mm -hmm. You know it's a dirty game? We know. Mm -hmm. And we know all sorts of things may come up. But then it is a tech that we normally go for. Okay, for instance, let me just explain on my side. Mm -hmm. I've been interacting with my community since 16 years ago. And I have seen a lot, I have done a lot to the, to the families, to women. Mm -hmm. And I have seen, okay, as, as, as from 2013, it's when I was elected by my community to serve them in the CDF office. Mm -hmm. Now, there is when, when I saw uh, something that I can take and do for my community in a better manner and, and in a bigger way. Mm -hmm. So I decided after my, my term, uh, my term uh, was to take for three years to, to 2016 February. Yeah. That is when I decided not to, to, to renew the contract and just get out of CDF office mm. and fight for this seat. So what, is it, what are these things you say you've done for members of your immediate community? Okay, when I joined the CD, I, when I was elected in the CDF office, mm -hmm. I tried to do some, okay, before I was elected, I had seen the need to, to, to start a school in my area, mm -hmm. a primary school, a public primary school. And still there were, there were so many issues touching the, the, the common manainchi. Mm -hmm. So I, I wondered, I was thinking of how can I help, where can I be to help and at least uplift my people's lives. Mm -hmm. Then in God's willing, I joined, okay, I was elected in the CDF office. Mm -hmm. So from there, I, the, the, need, that, the need that I saw, mm -hmm. I had now to come and try to implement the, the, the issue of Angwata Primary School in my area. Mm -hmm. I saw how families, the vulnerable. You know, we are not all yes, the, the same. Definitely, so definitely. there are those who are down financially, mm -hmm. and there are they, they have pupils and students in schools. Mm -hmm. So I I decided that I'll bridge that that gap yeah. and make sure that those peoples will get bursaries. And mm -hmm. that is what I was doing. And I saw how I helped. So I decided to get into politics. If getting into politics will do a, 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 better, mm -hmm. a, a better and a bigger job to my people mm -hmm. and to if it will improve my people, then why not take the, the, the chances? And taking it head on with the incumbent, uh, yeah. Patrick Motua, and I will start all the way from... Patrick Macau. Patrick Macau, yeah. uh, big pardon for that. Yeah. Quite confusing names. But you're taking it head on with him, starting yeah. from the nominations that will be on the 25th. What do you think gives you an upper hand on him? Okay, for instance, we are now dealing with the, the, the nominations, mm -hmm. which are, ours will be on 25th, Fifth, yes. on Tuesday. Yeah. Now from there, if, if, the, if given the chance by my people, my, by my constituency people, I will now know that I will tackle the, the, the seat. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of having the, 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 the ticket. If I get the ticket... Now having the city will be just an, a walkover. So many would ask, yeah. you are new into politics. Yeah. Yes, you've worked at the CDF yeah. office, but you have not been in politics your entire life. Very Why not start with a position like the member of the county assembly so that you rise up to member of parliament, then the other positions? That's a very nice question. But then, you see, I've been... Okay, I, I can say I've been trained mm -hmm. 
in the CDF office. That is constituency development fund. Yes. At least I know the office. I know if given the chance to be their MP, I know where to start immediately. Mm -hmm. I'll not start asking or where do we start or, or, or thinking. I'll just straight away start doing my, my, my work for my people. What are these things you think uh, the incumbent has not done that you will bring in uh, if elected by your people? Okay, you know, when, when you are in office with someone, you, you, there, there, there are those instances that you see they have been done either poorly or, or n not into, to our expectations. Mm -hmm. That is why I decided, given this chance, I'll streamline some issues there. What are these issues? Okay. For instance, you know, we have been giving bursaries, we have been doing projects. If I've, I've given out a project and it has been funded, then there are those delays. Mm -hmm. I, I think I, I saw a need for me, Jacqueline, mm -hmm. to come in and it streamlined some issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jacqueline, you know, together, I cannot, yes. I cannot pinpoint all of them. There are <laughs> so many, of course. Jacqueline, yeah. together with you, there's uh, hundreds of women Very who true. have. Uh, tossed them, themselves into politics and are right. running for various positions yeah. uh, across the country. Yes. Name it, MCA, Member of Parliament, Senators, even Governors. And uh, as you know, there's no single elected woman who is a Senator or a Governor in this uh, country. How would you describe the growth that has been of women joining politics and staying in Kenya? Okay, you know, as women, we fear the, the, to be stigmized. Okay, to be stigmized uh, as in she uh, mm -hmm. boma. That is why I'm I'm engaged into politics. Yeah. They, they normally take it in a, in, a, in another manner, but that is not how, how we, we we women we are supposed to perceive it. Mm -hmm. We are supposed to think if we if we are going to to lead, mm -hmm. then we must be that strong. We we, we can't. We are not supposed to listen to, to lies mm -hmm. and propagandas and abuses. We, we must be strong. Get out and come and lead. Actually, if given the chance, by the way, we 